Hello and welcome to Frank's School, <clears throat> uh, 162nd day. Uh, well, uh, uh, Francis is on, he's going to go to see Pope Innocent III. Uh, Paolo is the enemy, his former friend who has become an enemy, that's his name, Paolo. And uh, he has gotten permission to take soldiers up and burn the church or wreck the church. And in the process, uh, a, a, a man, a poor man is killed. And, uh, and Francesco then wants to know what has he done wrong, and he decides he'll have to go ask the Holy Father, the Pope. Um, now, I'll, I'll fast forward through a lot of this, but then I'll slow up right at the end. Um, there, I, I do want to point out, at the speed I go, I don't know if you'll see it or not, I, I think it's called zoom out. When, when the camera is zooming, but then it backs out, uh, I don't know, I never studied <clears throat> film, but but Paolo on a horse on top of a hill, you see him, and then as it zooms back and he rides down the hill, there you see the uh, Francesco and his followers on their way to Rome. When they get to Rome, there's extreme poverty. These guys are in rags, really, in just one cloak. I, I think later on when Francis had his followers, he said that's all they should have, one brown cloak. And that is contrasted with extreme wealth. The church at that time was unbelievably wealthy, the Catholic Church. And uh, I think, you know, supposedly this would be uh, St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, I, I guess, uh, unless it hadn't been completed. No, I guess it had no, it hadn't been completed at the time of St. Francis. But I'm not sure what the church is in which it's filmed. Not as big, but certainly gives you that feeling of extreme wealth. Uh, for example, his, the bare feet and their dirty feet, they've been traveling, bare dirty feet on the marble floor. And that floor is the kind of thing that, that I would film details of if I were traveling and I went there. That floor, look at that floor, the, the, uh, the tiles. And as the camera looks up and you see these sparkles in the church, I think that that's because there's gold it, within the tiles. Uh, I think so. I didn't know that really that, that could be done, but I know one time in Venice, uh, what's the? Uh, I can't think of the, can't think of that huge church. I, the name escapes me at the moment, but, but anyway, at the at that real big famous church, uh, they uh, a guide explained that there was gold in the tiles. Saint, San Marco, Saint Saint Mark Square. Uh, uh, they're, these guys, to the Pope, they're described as hermits from Assisi. Hermits, you know, they're not priests, they're not brothers, they're not friars yet. And when Francesco gets out the scroll that he's supposed to read verbatim, that's where I will stop it, and that's where I would ask you to stop it. Because at that point, we're ready for... Here's the new cat's about to leap up. Uh, um, we're ready for the climax of the movie. So please stop there. It'll be 11 minutes. Uh, his uh, His... His enemy, Paolo, at this point is trying to save his life because what he's doing, if he's called a heretic, if he has ideas that are truly different from the Pope, in the Middle Ages, that was clear what you did with them. You burnt them at the stake, and he doesn't want to see that happen. All right, a second video today. See you soon.